Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. And this is how you ride a transit bus, a city bus. Um, so, first of all, thanks for, for clicking in because you're going to help everybody on the bus, the driver and yourself, get on that bus and move into the road quickly and efficiently. There's a lot of things that are, a lot of obstacles that make the job as a bus driver difficult um, when it comes to picking up people. First of all, during like peak hours, during like rush hour in the morning and in the PM, you're going to be late. The driver's going to be late. When they're in a hurry. Everybody's in a hurry. Um, a lot of traffic. And you don't want, and there's a, and the schedules are tight. So when you come to a bus stop, especially if it's a shared bus stop, meaning, meaning like more than one line stops at the bus stop, like the 1 and the 7 and the 10 and the 11 and the 300X and all that stuff, they're all stopping there. Different routes, different systems. Um, those are shared bus stops. So you don't want all the buses. You don't want any random bus. You want this particular bus you're looking for. Let's just say the 1. So when you see the one, your bus, approaching, you need to make yourself known that you want that bus versus all the other people that are there, or maybe nobody's there, but the driver doesn't know who, if anybody really wants that bus or not. So make sure you approach the, the bus stop, go to the curb where the bus stop sign is, and make eye contact with the driver. That's usually all you need. They'll know you want the bus, especially if you have, which is also important, to have your fare in hand or your bus pass or your your, your or your day pass, whatever you might have to, to get on that bus, student ID or whatever. Oh, I just brought up a, a good point there. Make sure that just so the driver knows you're ready. That way, when you get on the bus, you are ready to get on the bus, deal with the fare box and get to your seat as soon as possible. Have your fare or your ID or your pass or your transfer ready in hand when you get on the bus. That way you can process the fare box as fast as, soon, as fast as possible. You know, don't don't get on the bus and start searching for your fare or your, your, your transfer, your day pass, or whatever it is you're using. That's not the time to do it. Do it when you're outside before the bus gets there and have it on hand. So we can get in, take a seat as fast as possible, and the bus can keep on rolling and everybody can get to where they're trying. Have it ready in your hand. Look ready, look like you're, you're kind of like make eye talk, eye contact with the driver, or even like a hey, you know, they'll, they'll know. That makes it easy for the driver. So that way, they don't have to stop for nothing and open the door and ask around. They'll know. And most likely, when it's busy, they're not going to stop. If they don't see anybody that looks like they're interested in that bus, they're going to keep on rolling. Also, the fact that nowadays, even at a regular bus stop where there's only one bus and there's a bench and a shelter, especially if there's a shelter there, or just a bench, either way. Both, um, you get a lot of people, a lot of homeless people now, sitting at the bus stops. So if you're sitting there all day, they're not taking the bus. So if you're sitting at the bus stop and you don't move, you don't get up, the drivers will assume you don't want that bus. They're gonna assume that you're either, either homeless, and don't be insulted because a lot of homeless people don't look homeless. Or you could be a person going for a walk and taking a break. Or you could be somebody waiting for the ride. Maybe you're calling, you called your, your, your cousin, your friend, Uber, to pick you up. He's like, hey, pick me up at the bus stop over on the street. So we get a lot of that. And one more thing, you have to actually be at the bus stop, not across the street, not coming towards it, not walking towards it, running towards it. Be there before the bus gets there. Do that. And the best way to, to know when a bus is coming is to know the schedule or have those apps. A lot of systems have apps where they track the bus and you can see where the bus is and when it's coming. Because you got to be like, be aware. Uh, a lot of people have their head buried in their cell phone or reading a book or something, and they're not aware the bus is even showing up. So the bus, a lot of times, if, if the driver's nice, they'll give you a little honk on the horn and to, to, to get your head to look up so you can see the bus to see if you want it. And if you don't react or you don't hear the horn or whatever, they're going to they're gonna drive right by you. Um, so that's important. And, oh, at night... If you're at a bus stop at night, especially if it's a dark bus stop, a lot of people would spark to do is have your cell phone or a light, or a light on your cell phone, or just like the brightness of you know, the face of the camera or the phone, and just shine it towards the driver, move it around a little bit, and they'll they'll see you better because drivers don't have night vision. It's hard to see somebody at some of these bus stops, so help them out, help you out because you don't want to get passed up. So they don't want to pass you up. They don't. They want to pick you up. They want to be able to see you because if they can't see you. They're gonna roll. 
So I hope that's enough information to get you on the bus. Officially, that way you can get to where you want to go. Everybody on the bus can get to where they want to go. And it's like a teamwork. Teamwork. That's what helps. Because the world work or something. I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching, Paul's Take. Please hit like, subscribe for more videos.